Hello students. My this video is for my 10th class students. In the, this is your first topic of biology. The chapter name is life processes. First of all, we need to know what are the life processes. Life processes are the processes which are required to maintain the life over the earth. Hmm? This is, these are the processes which are required to maintain the life over the earth. In these processes, we include different types of processes like nutrition, nutrition, respiration, circulation or transportation, excretion, etc. In this chapter, we will discuss all these life processes one by one, but let's start with the first process that is nutrition. Nutrition. Nutrition is the process of obtaining food for the growth and maintenance of the body. Nutrition is, you already studied about the nutrition in your previous classes in which we take the food and food are the chemical substances which provide nutrient to the body. The main nutrients as you know are the carbohydrates, proteins, fats, lipids, vitamins, water, etc. The, all these substances are taken in by the nutrition. We will discuss about the nutrition in detail. Nutrition can be of two types. Nutrition can be two types of there. Nutrition can be of two types. It's of how it is obtained or how it can be taken in. On the basis of this, we divide the nutrition into two types. First, first one is the autotrophic nutrition. Auto tropic nutrition and second one is the heterotrophic nutrition autotrophic nutrition and heterotrophic nutrition the word auto auto means self and tropic means nourishment it's nourishment the organism which nourish itself are known as autotroph and such types of nutrition process is known as autotrophic nutrition. Like plants and all the green organism in which the photosynthesis process can be taken in example plants, algae and all the photosynthetic bacteria. These are the organisms which do photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the process by which organisms prepare their food for themselves and, and such type of organisms are known as phototrophic organisms. Heterotrophic. What is heterotrophic? Hetero means other. And tropic again nourishment. This is a type of nutrition process in which the organism depends on another organism for their nourishment. It includes the organisms like animals and fungal etc which do not contain chlorophyll for the photosynthesis process. Abhi tak aapne dekha nutrition, abhi two types me divide kiya, autotrophic and heterotrophic. Autotrophic nutrition is the nutrition in which the organisms are able to prepare their food, jo apna food khud bana sakte hain. These type of organisms are known as autotrophs and nutrition process is known as autotrophic. Heterotrophic are the nutrition process in which organism depend on Another organism. This heterotrophic nutrition is further divided into the different types. On the basis of how they get their nutrition from other organisms. First type is saprophytic nutrition. First, saprophytic nutrition. Saprophytic nutrition is the process in which organisms depend on dead and decaying organisms for their nutrition process. Such type of nutrition is known as saprophytic and organisms which do such kind of nutrition are the fungi. Fungi take their nourishment, they take their nutrient from dead and decaying material. This type of nutrition is known as saprophytic nutrition. Second type of heterotrophic nutrition is parasitic. Parasitic nutrition. This is the type of nutrition in which 
one organism depend on another organism for their nutrition process and what is the organism on which they depends are known as as you know it's known as host host ke upar depend rehte hue agar apna nutrition ko acquire kiya jata hai us tarike ki nutrition process ko kaha jata hai parasitic nutrition and the organisms are known as parasites these are the some non green plants which are do, which do for this parasitic nutrition examples is cascuta which do parasitic nutrition third type of nutrition which is symbiotic nutrition symbiotic nutrition is the nutrition in which two organisms live with each other and take their nutrition by one another symbiotic nutrition as you have already studied is a type of nutrition which is found in the lichens lichens is the best example of symbiotic nutrition in which the algae do photosynthesis and fungus depends on the algae to take their nourishment from the algae this type of nutrition on which both the organisms are dependent on each other for their nourishment are known as symbiotic nutrition or some symbiotic nutrition we will discuss about the autotrophic nutrition first and then we'll take up take the second topic that is heterotrophic nutrition let's start with the autotrophic nutrition autotrophic nutrition the process of preparing food with the help of green color pigment that is chlorophyll by the process of photosynthesis is known as autotrophic nutrition means the photosynthesis process is the main process by which the plants and all the green colored pigment containing organisms do their photosynthesis or take their nutrition so photosynthesis is the main process which is done in the autotrophic nutrition photo synthesis now what is the photosynthesis photo means light the word photo means light and synthesis means the preparation or to prepare this is the process in which in the presence of lights green plants prepare their food in the presence of light the green plants prepare their food this process is known as photosynthesis and chlorophyll is one more one, one more important requirement for this process photosynthesis is very important and we will discuss about this photosynthesis process in more detail what are the raw materials that are required for the photosynthesis first of all we will discuss about the raw materials which are required for the photosynthesis the first raw material that is required for the photosynthesis process is carbon dioxide kin kin cheezon ki zarurat hoti hai photosynthesis process ke liye hum baat kar rahe hain unke bare mein first thing that is required is the carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is taken inside by the leaves through the stomata it is frozen to the stone by stomata this is the air which is present in the atmosphere and plants take this air by the diffusion this gas carbon dioxide is present in the air the air mein present hoti hai aapko pata hai air ka composition air contain mixture of gases out of this carbon dioxide is also present in the air plants take this carbon dioxide directly to the air by the process of diffusion by the diffusion carbon dioxide enter inside the leaves to the stomata second raw material that is required for the photosynthesis is water water is taken by the roots or root hair taken in by the root and root hairs root hairs are the structure which help in the absorption of water it's taken inside water is also taken inside the root hair by the process of diffusion Here, let me tell you one thing. What is the diffusion? As you already studied in your chemistry portion, diffusion is the process by which any substance moves from its high concentration to its low concentration. So, 
water which is present in high concentration outside the um, roots in the soil and when it breaks inside the root it gets diffused inside the roots by the process of diffusion with the water some very important minerals are also minerals are also taken in in the dissolved form of water third process a third raw material that is required for the photosynthesis is chlorophyll chlorophyll is the green color pigment which is present in the green ray and which helps in the uh, which helps in the capturing the sunlight it capture sunlight it capture sunlight which is required for the photosynthesis process and the fourth important that is sunlight sunlight is the fourth raw material and sunlight is required for the formation of the bonds between the carbon dioxide and the water sunlight is directly comes from the sun from the solar energy and this sunlight is required for binding or of joining carbon dioxide with water all these are the raw materials in the चीजों की प्रेजेंस में फोटोसिंथेसिस प्रोसेस जो है वो पूरी होती है नाउ लेट्स सी व्हाट इज द इक्वेशन ऑफ फोटोसिंथेसिस हाउ द फोटोसिंथेसिस प्रोसेस टेक प्लेस और हाउ वी कैन एक्सप्लेन द कंप्लीट प्रोसेस इन द फॉर्म ऑफ सिंगल इक्वेशन व्हाट द फोटोसिंथेसिस कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज रिक्वायर्ड विद कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड वाटर मॉलिक्यूल्स आर जॉइन एंड देन दे फॉर्म C6H12 O6. This is the general formula of glucose. Plus oxygen and plus energy. This is the general formula of photosynthesis. Water is also liberated. We can make you know, water also. Water is also liberated. Some amount of water is liberated in this process also. So we can write this H two. Now here some important requirement are also there. That is the chlorophyll and sunlight. in which six molecule of carbon dioxide and 12 molecules of water are combined together to form the one molecule of glucose and six molecules of oxygen are formed here with this six molecules of water are formed also this is the complete equation of the photosynthesis by this equation we can understand that how kaise ek carbon dioxide and water molecules aapas mein join hote hain in the presence of chlorophyll and sunlight and then they form one molecule of glucose at the process of photosynthesis one molecule of glucose is formed with this one molecule of glucose some amount of some molecules of oxygen and some molecules of water also liberated in this process now glucose which is prepared during the process of photosynthesis is later on converted into the form of sucrose sucrose ग्लूकोज जो कि एक टाइप का कार्बोहाइड्रेट होता है दिस ग्लूकोज इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू द फॉर्म ऑफ सुक्रोज दैट इज अनदर टाइप ऑफ कार्बोहाइड्रेट इट इज कन्वर्टेड इन द सुक्रोज सो दैट इट कैन बी इजीली ट्रांसपोर्टेड फ्रॉम द साइट ऑफ फोटोसिंथेसिस टू द अदर पार्ट ऑफ द प्लांट मींस जहां पे मींस के अंदर फोटोसिंथेसिस हो रहा है वहां पे फोटोसिंथेसिस होने की वजह से जो ग्लूकोज बना है वो ग्लूकोज और प्लांट के दूसरे पार्ट तक ट्रांसपोर्ट किया जाता है ताकि सभी प्लांट्स को रिक्वायर्ड ग्लूकोज की सप्लाई हो सके उसके लिए ग्लूकोज को प्लांट्स कन्वर्ट करते हैं सुक्रोज के अंदर एंड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ सुक्रोज इट इज ट्रांसपोर्टेड टू द अदर पार्ट ऑफ द प्लांट व्हेन इट रीच टू द रिक्वायर्ड साइट द एक्सेस अमाउंट ऑफ द सुक्रोज इज स्टोर्ड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ स्टार्च सो एक्सेस अमाउंट ऑफ दिस कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स आर स्टोर्ड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ स्टार्च व्हेन यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड फॉर कीपिंग नंबर दिस इंपॉर्टेंट टर्म 
that how these carbohydrates are transported from one form to another form. Photosynthesis में सबसे पहले जो carbohydrates form होना that is the glucose. उसके बाद glucose को convert किया जाता है sucrose के अंदर so that it can be easily transported to the site of refinement. And after that, the this remaining part or excess amount of this carbohydrates are that is and this sucrose is stored in the form of starch. So starch is the form of carbohydrate in which it is stored inside the plants. Now, this is very important. So you have to keep remember. This is an important term. How the glucose, sucrose, and starch are formed. Now let's see what are the important events of the photosynthesis. We will discuss about all the events that take place during the process of photosynthesis. As we have written in the single equation. It's not as simple as it's written. जैसे कि आपने देखा एक event एक equation के अंदर कि simple equation में हमने दिखाया carbon dioxide और water दोनों join हुए glucose बन गया. But it's not just simple like this. इतना simple नहीं होता. All this process is completed into the different step. Let's discuss all these steps are. Now let's start the events of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis process completes into the following events. It's not a single step reactions. It completes into different steps. That first step or first event of the photosynthesis is absorption of light energy by chlorophyll. As we studied in the, the raw material of the photosynthesis, I told you chlorophyll is the important requirement for the photosynthesis. A chlorophyll present hota hai tabhi plants photosynthesis karte hai. ऐसा क्या होता है क्लोरोफिल के अंदर जो प्लांट्स क्लोरोफिल की प्रेजेंस में ही फोटोसिंथेसिस कर पाते हैं इसका रीजन ये है दैट क्लोरोफिल इज द मॉलिक्यूल इज द सेल ऑर्गेनिज्म व्हिच इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द एब्जॉर्प्शन ऑफ लाइट एनर्जी जो लाइट एनर्जी सन से मिल रही है सोलर एनर्जी की फॉर्म में उसे एब्जॉर्ब करके कैप्चर करने का काम जो है वो क्लोरोफिल करता है सो फर्स्ट इवेंट ऑफ फोटोसिंथेसिस एब्जॉर्प्शन ऑफ लाइट एनर्जी बाय क्लोरोफिल Second step is the conversion of light energy to the chemical energy. This is the process in which the solar energy, the light energy which comes from the sun in the form of stellar solar energy is converted into the chemical energy. Why we say the chemical energy? Because some chemicals are formed here. Chemicals like glucose are forming here. This light is get utilized. Glucose is formed some energy in the form of ATPs are also formed in the process of photosynthesis. So the light solar energy is converted into the light in the, into the form of chemical energy by forming some chemicals. Third event of photosynthesis is splitting of water molecules. Splitting of water molecules. Splitting means to na, break hona. Water molecules, which water plants ki roots may absorb kiya hai soil se, wo water plants ki under jaane ke baad photosynthesis ki process mein utilize hota hai. Aur is process ke under water jo hai wo split hoga. Water molecules जो हैं वो split होंगे। These water molecules converted or splitted into in the form of hydrogen and oxygen। ये hydrogen और oxygen के अंदर break down हो जाएंगे। And this in this process this oxygen is get liberated। और यही जो oxygen होती है, यही oxygen photosynthesis की process के अंदर बाहर निकाली जाती है as in the form of byproduct। Because it's not required for the plant, so it's released out in the form of Byproduct in the form of byproduct. This is the process of splitting of water molecules to liberate oxygen and to release hydrogen from the water. Fourth step is the reduction of carbon dioxide into the carbohydrate. Now, the carbon dioxide that is utilized, that is used by the plants, this is the equation. These are the products which are used for the photosynthesis. Water is splitted in the form of hydrogen and oxygen. And this carbon dioxide, this carbon dioxide is now reduced in the form of carbohydrate. Carbohydrate means glucose. This is the carbohydrate which is formed here. The glucose is formed here. This is this glucose is formed by this carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide reduced into the carbohydrates, and these all these events completed during the process of photosynthesis. Now we will discuss. How this carbon dioxide is absorbed by the plants? For the absorption of carbon dioxide, leaves contain some tiny pore-like structures, and these pore-like structures are known as stomata. Stomata are the place from where the carbon dioxide comes inside the leaves, and oxygen is released outside the leaves. Stomata 
वॉलाइट स्ट्रक्चर होती है जैसे आपको पता है जिससे कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड को अब्सॉर्ब किया जाता है और ऑक्सीजन को रिलीज किया जाता है नाउ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ स्टोमेटा